All right, and we are talking with Patrick Stump. Uh, I can't not believe you are the same guy I saw with <laughs> follow-up. You get that every day, don't you? Uh, you look so I different. I actually got, uh, the other day, I got the weirdest one I think I've ever gotten where some, a couple people came up to me after the show and they said, um, they said, you were really great tonight. You know, uh, obviously the whole time we were thinking, you know, you sounded a lot like Patrick Stump. And I was like, well, that's, that's my name. That was on, I, it was on the bass drum. I had it like on my stuff. And they're like, yeah, but I mean, like, what's your real name? Like, what's, you know, and I was like, and I was like, I, I mean, it legally has an H at the end. I don't know what you mean, you know? And I got in this kind of like non-argument, because I'm not gonna, I mean, if someone doesn't believe me, they don't believe me, but I was like, I don't, I'm me, I guess that's the best I can do. <laughs> and so, so yeah, I do get it once in a while now. It's kind of weird. Tell me about this. I mean, you look great, your physical transformation. How did you do it? I mean, we have a lot of women that listen to this station <laughs> and they would love to know. If you have any secrets, please well, share. Um, the, uh, the biggest thing was, because I tried, I tried any number of diets and exercise. I, I, I never really stopped exercising, so that, that was never really something that, you know, I could, that was going to change anything for me. Um, I, uh, I just started eating a lot less, um, not like, and that's the other thing too, like not like starving myself, but just, you know, you know, it is kind of, I, everyone, you know, I know a lot of people that count calories and think of it that way. I couldn't really do that. I had to think of it in physical terms of mass, you know, I would just, I would just, if I got the sandwich, I'd cut it in half, you know, if I got the, whatever it was, everything I would just cut in half. And so, and it was crazy. I lost so much weight so fast. I wasn't even, I wasn't trying to that aggressively even, and it was, it actually kind of freaked me out a little bit, you know, because I would, I would step on, the, they say not to step on the scale, you know, every, you know, every day, but I started to because it started to freak me out. I was like, I look like I lost weight from yesterday, you know, so, so, and, and sure enough, I, I, I did. So. Oh, must be nice. <laughs> well, congratulations. Uh, cool. You look amazing. Thank you. Thank and you. sound amazing. The new record, Soul Punk, is out. I heard that you played every instrument on that record. That's How many instruments do you play, anyway? Uh, I, in, I mean, I don't know. Informally, I mean, it's kind of, you know, if what's the what's the line from Departed? It's like, you give me a tuba, I'll, I'll make something out of it. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know. I, I kind of just, you know, mess around with instruments and see what happens. Um, you're all self-taught. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't read or anything, so I, I play. I mean, I can't read music, so I play. I play everything by ear, and I just kind of figure stuff out. But um, I, I would say, you know, drums are my, my home. That's my first instrument. Um, ben bass. I'm pretty competent at bass. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I picked up guitar in fall place. So I'm a pretty competent guitar player now. Um, singing, I guess. So I use my, <laughs> I use my voice a lot. Um, uh, I've always kind of messed around with keyboards, and then, so that extends to you know, tons of instruments. Um, and then, uh, and then I, I can, I can, I can do some trumpet and some trombone. I have a little bit of, of brass aptitude. I'm terrible with woodwinds, but I try. Yeah, give it time. I'm yeah, I, give I try, but, but I, I'm kind of iffy on saxophone and things like that. There's a lot of 80s influences on your mm -hmm. album. Tell me about some of your favorite. I mean, obviously Prince and mm -hmm. Michael Jackson. What are some of your uh, maybe lesser known 80s faves that might have worked their way in somehow? Well, I mean, the thing for me is that I always, I mean, when I'm not thinking, like if I'm if I'm in the car and I'm driving, whatever, and I want to listen to music, I just want I just want a station that plays like '80s R&B. That's just my that's just what I'm into. I just really want to hear like you know I don't know the Whispers and uh, nice. and Luther Vandross and <laughs> whatever you know. That's 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 really more exciting to me than a lot of um, you know, or not exciting to me, but just like more home to me than you know. I know a lot of people had. You know the big rock band posters on the walls. I never had the the Metallica poster, or the Def Leppard poster, or the Led Zeppelin poster, or the Guns N' Roses poster. You know any of that stuff. I had the I had you know Prince, and, you know Michael, and that kind of stuff. So I, I really I really just like a lot of R and B. I don't know. I, I was I I, I just got um, Elder Barge's new record. <laughs> he has a new record. Yeah, he has a new record. Yeah, it's pretty rad. Pretty it's rad. good. Does he still yeah. have it? Oh yeah, yeah. His voice is his voice is in great shape. It's kind of crazy because he still sounds like he did when he was like 20. So you're <laughs> and you're just like doing the math. You're like that's kind of weird. You've worked with both Gym Class Heroes and Cobra Starship. I mean, I'm sure there's other collaborations that I'm not even aware of. Um, are you working with anybody right now? Are you producing anybody? I'm not working with anybody right now, but I, I kind of now that the record's out, I was thinking about getting back into some producing. I haven't I haven't done any production for a while, um, and. Uh, 
I don't know. I, I feel like I kind of got a lot, a lot that I wanted to say out with the record, and now it's like I can kind of, um, you know, production careers are, are, you know, it's it's definitely cutthroat, and if you disappear for too long, you're just off the map, you know. So I, so I definitely don't want to. I definitely want to stir those coals a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. so and I don't know. I just kind of I miss I miss working with other people. So. You, um, for, for all the Fall Out Boy fans, and there's so many out there, um, what would you like to say to them about the status of Fall Out Boy? What's, what's going on there? Oh, all, they all know what's up with Fall Out Boy. That's the, that's the thing that's so funny is that it seems like, um, you know, it seems like, all, you, you know, well, that's not true. Every once in a while, so, somebody will come up to me and be like, why'd you break up? I'd be like, we didn't. I don't know where you heard that, but we didn't. Um, a lot of people think that. I know. Well, it just kind of it became this buzzword. It just, it's, the thing that's frustrating is is plays go on hiatus. They do this. And, it's, and, and a lot of them are planned. It's, it's a planned, you know, whatever. It's, a, it's okay, you know, then we're going to break for a couple months and you guys go do, you know, have, you know, Christmas break or something, and then we'll come back and you know pick it up again. Um, bands for some reason don't get to do that. I don't know what it is. But we we went off the road, and all of a sudden we broke up. I I don't know what it is about our band too that people got that intense about that part of it where um, we uh, I don't know. Um, I know a lot of other bands that that have gone way longer between albums and you know and no one ever said they broke up but for some reason we did and we've only been gone for two years so. but you're still friends and yeah, yeah. And, and congratulations still, on this outlet for the the music that maybe wouldn't fit with what Fall yeah Out i mean there's a, there's a for me there's a, an absolute necessity to do to to do the to do my record because it's not you know i can't write lyrics in fall Out boy that's not there's not really room for that um i can't play all my instruments in fall Out boy um i can't really you know i have to when we write you know we're thinking about it in terms of four people you know mm -hmm. when i i have i have a lot of music for for lots of people and uh for not for not rock bands <laughs> so well i'm very much looking forward to seeing you perform tonight and hopefully you'll be able to get the band of yours into portland sometime yeah, soon I would, love and, to. I would love to yeah um so. and real quickly before i let you go because i know that from your days with fallout boy you guys were followed by the paparazzi especially when pete and ashley became a thing i would love to hear your favorite either most amusing or most bizarre paparazzi story from those days i don't really have a lot of funny paparazzi stories i i I thought the whole thing was terrifying. I thought it was really, it was really, um, like, because there's a lot of stuff they don't, they don't tell you, like, um, like, basically, because they can take pictures of whatever and say it's whatever, and, mm -hmm. and really, you know, and rarely do they ever get caught up, called on it or anything. So, so there would always be things like, they would, they would totally break laws all the time until cops showed up. They would do whatever they wanted to until cops showed up. So, so they would, like, um, if I've seen I've seen people go into the movie theater, you know, like, and be and be pursued by paparazzi. Paparazzi will just plow through, plow into the movie theater and take pictures in the theater and stuff. And uh, and you know, security security's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And until until the police show up, then they bail. And it's like, you know, it's it's like that scene in Anchorman where the <laughs> where they have the big the big. Uh, all the all the rival uh, channels fight, and then the cops show up and they scatter. That's what it's like. But um, like little rats. Yeah, yeah, totally. And then um, and then uh, and then like just silly stuff where like um, I remember seeing a picture of Pete in in I don't know some magazine, and it was like you know Pete Wentz leaving leaving some club or something. I'm like that's his house. Like he is standing outside of his house right now. And you like walked up his driveway and took a picture of him and said that it was some. It was and it's like early morning and you can tell it's early morning. But like Pete went staggers out of club at like you know and it's just it's just ridiculous. It's so it's so fabricated. It's so silly. So well, if people want to keep up to date with the latest on you. I know that you are all over social media. Direct people where to go to get the um, latest. So I am at Patrick Stump on Twitter. I am facebookcom Patrick Stump. I still have a I still have a dot com PatrickStump.com. Um, and uh, yeah. Well, thank you. It's obvious that you're having so much fun with this venture, and wish you much luck. And thank you. can't wait to see the show. Awesome.